Hey guys, my name's Jamin. Thanks so much for visiting my channel. In this video, I have a Lenovo LOQ15i laptop, Gen 9 version. I'm gonna show you how to get in, access your heatsink assembly, including your fans. So first thing guys, power down the computer the correct way, make sure it's off and unplugged from your charger. We're then gonna flip the computer over to access our bottom case screws. Now you have these four screws along the bottom, one on either side near the middle, and then these four up top for a total of 10 screws. After you get those screws out, you're gonna take your small flat plastic pry tool. I say plastic because metal pry tools will tend to scratch your case a lot more than plastic ones will. And I would recommend starting in, in the back corners here. Uh, you're gonna pop it open, you're gonna go around the seam, pop the uh, bottom case up from the computer, then you're gonna go down each side and then you're gonna finish up on this edge. This edge is the hardest to get off. So I would go from the back to the front on this computer. After you've taken your bottom case off, this is what you're looking at for the inside of your computer. Now as a general computer repair side note, whenever I'm opening a computer, it's sitting on an anti-static pad. Either that or an anti-static bracelet are great ideas to avoid damaging things in your computer when you're working on them. If you need any help with tools or supplies for your computer project, as well as any replacement or upgrade parts for this specific model computer, there'll be a link above. Also below in the description, it'll have all those tools and replacement parts for the LOQ-15i. Now before I do anything in a computer, I will either remove or at least unplug my battery. It makes it safe to work on the computer with as little power as possible running through it battery plugs into the motherboard right here. Now, as you can see in your computer, there's a small grip on either side of that black plug. So you can use your fingernails or a pry tool and you can go one side at a time and pry that out from that plug. As with any computer plugs, you want to avoid pulling on the wires as much as possible. You want to just manipulate that plug or whenever possible. Okay, so now that the battery has been unplugged, it's safe to proceed deeper into the computer. Your heatsink assembly is up here along with both fans. Now be careful on the fans. They have very fragile wires. You'll see this fan on the right of the screen plugs into the motherboard right here above the solid state drive. And this one plugs into the motherboard right here. Just like the battery, there's two grips on either side of these plugs. So you can remove them with your fingernails or a pry tool. And then you'll notice a screw here. You'll notice a screw here. And then on the heat sink, you have these two screws here, and then these three here. Uh, watch out for these stickers on any computer repair. These are, they are various kinds of warranty void stickers. So if you damage these stickers, if you show evidence that you've been in this far in the computer, it'll void part or all of your warranty. So in any computer repair, keep an eye out for that. And, and if you see them, and if your computer is still under warranty, consider getting a warranty repair instead of DIY um, if you want to preserve your warranty. But after you remove those screws, you can pick up your fans and your heatsink assembly. If you're here because of an overheating issue and you want to give this whole assembly a thorough cleaning, um, and if you want to reapply thermal paste, there'll be a video link above. I'll also include it below in the description. It'll be a tutorial on how to fix an overheating situation. Uh, because you definitely want to clean these fans out really well, these vents, um, and you want to clean off all the old thermal paste before putting new stuff down. You don't want new paste on top of old paste. And then you also don't want to put too much thermal paste down. So like I said, there'll be a whole tutorial on how to do that below in the description. But this is how you would access your fans, your heatsink assembly, CPU, GPU areas in the LOQ 15i Gamer. So that's the video guys, I hope it was helpful. If you have any questions, check out the FAQs below in the description, it could save you some time getting an answer. If you do need to leave me a question or comment, please do, I do try to get to those a couple times a day at least. To support the channel, please remember to like and share, subscribe if you enjoy this type of DIY tutorials, and for those of you that wanna support the channel a little further, you can always leave a small donation, and there's a couple ways to do that. First, right below the video to the right hand side, you'll see the super thanks button. You can click on that. You can select a tip amount here. Second way, you can use your cash app. 
Find me at dollar sign PC Helper. You can leave a dollar amount and you can even leave a little note. So thank you so much for watching guys and I look forward to seeing you on my next video.